So there was a lady in the woods who gave me Hansel and Gretel vibes. Like she was, they were leaving candy, a trail of candy to, to her house. And it was for parents to abandon their kids to the forest. And it seemed really awful. And it is really awful that parents did that to their kids. But like, she's not eating them. I think it's just like an unofficial orphanage for unwanted kids. She's very, very, I don't know right, the right word, protective of her kids though, like her kids. I don't know if it's because they live in a forest and there's a little weird shit in there or maybe there's something awful going on. Anyways, um, she has connections to these three witches and we're trying to talk to them to find out where Siri is. But first we need to kill some monster in the woods for them. So I'm going to turn the gamma up because I can't see bloody shit. What's that under? Gra oh, gamma. So these are the witches. What a vibe. Hanging out in the woods with your girlfriends. Doing some little little sacrifices, maybe maybe hiding some chicken bones and uh, cursing the villagers that did you wrong. Dancing around naked around the fire. That sounds quite fun. Um, I don't think I should extinguish their candles. I think that's how they curse you. All right, so talk to the Elderman of Down Warren about the village problem. Yeah, so this is the lady in the woods orphanage, <laughs> something like that. I haven't made my mind up about her and this game often gives you conflicting like morally what you should do and it's hard to gauge people because you're only seeing like a window of a situation which could which could look really bad but also it could look really good but it turns out they're really bad so it's really hard to gauge what the fuck is going on and have a moral compass of what the fuck to do which I personally love I love a game that makes me feel like emotional shit. <laughs> Talk to the Eelderman. What's the Eelderman? Oh, fancy druid looking man. With a comb over. Greetings. Nice village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get by all right? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? That is one hectic oh, dagger. I didn't know you belonged to them. How do we understand each other? I don't belong to anyone. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power, an evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the whispering hillock they lie. Unburied all fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeared to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Look around. More details. How long has it been like this? I'm going to just exhaust all dialogue. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember. It was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled the hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever it's since. It's like something sucking the life folks force about everything. Black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Well, it's like that thing in Dragon Ball Z. The green guy with the tail that goes and like sucks the life force out of things. Day, I'm not good with names. I mean, that's an assumption. Maybe that's not what's happening. More details. I want to know everything. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees. 
and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human Little bones. I look around. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Mm. Let's look on the notice board too. There's no contracts. Oh, there's one here. Anyone who knows how to read, read this and read it careful. So that it is known far and wide, or at least throughout the whole village. Out in the bog, where we dig, Pete, there's a beast that feeds on men. Okay, this is what you told us. And spurts out deadly mess all along. Oh, the gas. All around itself. If you're good with a sword and looking for coin, know that I'll pay and pay well for that beast's head. And to any everyone else, stay out of that accursed bog if you'll value your lives. Don't say I didn't warn you. And the slav. Why are those pots in jail? What did they do? Free him. Find out what's killing the villagers. I'm really enjoying all the different monsters. Let's go. Like the godling last night. Oh! Okay, I'm not enjoying that one. Oh god. Um Yeah, the godling looked incredible. As soon as I ended stream, I just Googled what a godling was because I wanted to know if it was like actual part of folklore or if it was a witcher thing. As far as I could find out, I think it's just from witcher. But it's really amazing learning about all the different folklore, also in the books. Like there was one, I'm not going to say which. But there was a folklore that was in the first book, which is the first recording of it was 2000 years ago. It's incredible. I think it's a testament of how much I love this game. The fact that I'm live Be again. Gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. Okay. Horse safety 101. Move it. Leave the horse out of this. Roach must be safe. It's like the Sleepy Hollow Tree. What if uh, Johnny Depp's gonna come out? With his jaggedy ass teeth. Wait, no, is it Johnny? No, Johnny Depp's the good guy. It's William. Is it William Defoe plays Sleepy Hollow guy? He is gay, he loves classical music. I'm stalling because I'm scared. A voice from within the tree. Strumming. No, it's a heartbeat. Maybe it's both, maybe it's an underground race. Something's fucking coming. Something's fucking coming. I just accidentally fucking s fuck shit. Oh, I don't like attacking dogs, wolves. Oh god. What is that? Ooh. Torn out page. Night Wraith. I missed a second word. It disappeared. Oh. Why have you come? Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? 
It looks like COVID under microscope. This is awful. You claim I can free you. Why was I attacked? Who are you? Who are you? I abandoned my circle. Where I kept the balance. The crones killed me. And cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circle in Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows. Helplessly sliding or rusty. must know the crowns pretty well. They are Velen's curse. They hear all through severed ears. They weave hair and twist lives. They take their strength from the broth of human flesh. Mm. Why did they kill Why you? Why did they kill you? The crowns want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. Why was I attacked? I was attacked. This is my prison. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await. And my forest protects me. Murderers? Murderous sisters. Killed my body. Now my soul they hunt. For I defy them. You claim I can free you. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here, in fetters of magic. I wandered endlessly, a labyrinth of thieves. The children, I know all. I know what to witness them. Free me, please. I don't know who to trust. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. I think I'm gonna trust the children them. Have them take Free me, please. Oh my god, I just don't know. I it's can just... be a girl. A girl. I don't know if that's a good idea. I shall see them. Only I can. <sighs> you shouldn't judge a book by the cover. Just something tells me this whack ass looking COVID thing. I don't trust. I don't trust anyone. I don't believe you. I don't believe you, spirit. Too many claim you are evil. Your words alone, not enough. Dead. And against you, Buck. Oh, oh, no. All the powers of nature. Oh. The number to the left of an enemy's health bar shows its level. If it's red or marked with a skull, means the enemy is much stronger than you. In such cases, it's better to turn back. Arm yourself suitably. Okay, but I can't see that icon you're talking about. Unless it's going to show now. Yeah, I think I fucked up. <laughs> oh, yuck. I just don't know who to believe at this point. But like, you know, nature's kind of kooky looking. Like, there's some really weird fucking things out there. And I did kind of judge her by how she looks. But like, that's nature. Maybe she maybe she does want to protect the kids. But I don't know, if I was if I was a plant, I wouldn't give a fuck about people. I wouldn't care. Because we're terrible to nature and we mistreat. I don't know, if I was a if I was a COVID looking tree sapling, I wouldn't care about no kids. I just feel like maybe I'm doing like what I did in Baldur's Gate, where I just kill everyone and I fuck up. Diamonds.
But now the witches are gonna kill the kids. They're gonna eat the kids. I don't know what to do. I don't know. This is exactly as I expected my playthrough to go, where I just, I question all my decisions and possible mistakes. We're gonna fuck around and find out, chat, but I think I might have just fucked up. Or maybe either way, it fucked, because the world is fucked. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Were something lurking there? I destroyed something? Not sure what. <laughs> Let's just say it is it is, guys. Not sure what was lurking there, but it lurks no more. What did you do, Witcher? I don't know. Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost. Will it be back? No. <laughs> the crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. Oh no, what is he gonna he's gonna kill someone? Fuck. Ah. He just donated his ear. He just lent his ear. There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? Van Gogh. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. What else has he cut off? He got cut off his dick? So, all those ears in the woods. Oh. Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. They look nothing like their photos. Keep your weapon, young man. <laughs> in real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. I think these old profile pictures. Well, bring it here. Again. We shall forgive you this transgression for your done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. Oh, fuck. But now we must talk to our white haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. Oh my god, the plot she twist! She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Oh my gosh! When I saw she had the fiery hand, I thought she just had the same thing as Anna, but that is Anna. Gosh, she's gone from one bad thing to another. Why do you look different? I've got to know. 
You looked different in the tapestry. <laughs> We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? I think I'll pass. <laughs> Is that polymorphism? I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. Ah, to be woven together with you. Horny witches. I'd be your best and love. Oh my gosh, stop. Hmm, not what I came for. This is horny. Use me! Okay, if I say you use me, they're just gonna say something really horny about using him in other ways, so I'm gonna go with that. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not three brave souls. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? Yes. So fortunate to have found so brave a knight, so able. What do you want the kids for? What did you need the children for? Need? We? They needed us? Our care. Where are they? They are far away. Oh my over. fucking god. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Finn was a Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. Where is she now? I think those kids died because of my decision. Where is she now? don't believe you. They say you always keep your word, so tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. Where's Rachel? <laughs> we knew someone said to be Oh, We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the Omens had spoken of. A child of the Elder Blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame. She fell into our hands. The blood. Mm. Does she sleep like a lamb? Come, sisters, no point in dawdling. The table set, the cauldron bubbles. We cannot. You know she is meant for him. Emirates will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely mm -hmm. and plump. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it. He's <laughs> getting out of there. Oh, you'll regret that girl. Regret it dearly. Gosh, the horrendous looking. Oh! oh 
Oh, wow, I get to play a Surrey. Oh my gosh, this is cool. So I just looked at my health and saw the lack of it. gonna keep coming. I might just get out of here, guys. Sometime later. You tried to kill her, tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood, the taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood, extraordinary girl, but you know that. Such a shame she fled. She escaped you, but I'll find her. We'll come back here together and kill you. You'll return, you shall. Our fates are bound. And one will die, but it shan't be one of us. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl <laughs> will die, soon <laughs> you and some light. <laughs> Yuck! I love them. They're absolutely horrendous. They're hideous. Oh, that was fantastic. So, wow, she's Anna. She's the Bloody Baron's wife who ran away. While in Crook oh. Park, Siri had happened on the crones. The beastly sisters took her in, then wavered, unsure if they should eat her or surrender her to the wild hunt. Siri escaped before they could decide. Pursued by a spectral rider, she had fled into the swamp where Geralt lost her trail once more. He now needed a new lead. Mm, I love these little recaps when you load in. It's very useful. And I love the art design. It's like a comic book. This is going to be a heavy conversation. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Let's play Gwent. I know where your wife is. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell. Why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Mm. I do. But let's try stay neutral and say my opinion doesn't matter. It's implying that yeah, we do know he's a piece of shit. But we're not saying straight out because he's a psycho. 
doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it. What's hooch? I get home. Is that alcohol or vagina? What is hooch? <laughs> I guess it's alcohol. Oh, I'm thinking of coochie. Hooch. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort a in the arms of Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bungalow. <laughs> Understand, damn it! One tussle in the hay, I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. He has such a way with words, but what he's saying is awful. So he killed her, the guy she was cheating on him with. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Oh, good one. I want to know about this. Blackmail to threaten her. Yeah, I don't think it was a very happy relationship. Like, don't cheat, don't cheat. You know, if you're not happy, leave. But also, she probably couldn't leave because he's a fucking baron. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me. This is so I toxic. Hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love. But I destroyed the idea for her, and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Now, as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed.
Like, there was a lot. Cheating is a terrible thing to do. But, like, you know, there's levels of badness. And I think cheating's, you know, obviously very bad, terrible, a disrespect. Yeah. Like, physical abuse and murdering someone a lot worse. Yeah, oh my god, that's so true, Empire. He said that. He was like, I beat her to calm her down. She fucked up. But what you did Wes? Got only yourself to blame, I think. Leaving her to fend for herself. How was I not to? I was a soldier. I had no choice. There's always a choice. Ah, sod it all. I see all my prattlings for naught. You won't bring Anna home, I know that. Will you betray to me how she landed in that bloody swamp? <laughs> yeah, we've left out a lot of details of, like, what she's up to. <laughs> she made a pact with the crones and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Wait, so... Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength. The one he thought he forced her body killed. To miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her Is this mind. the same baby? Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches. Bloody nightmare. Sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Imagine a social worker playing this. <laughs> do what you want because a pirate is me. Yeah, sorry. Uh, do what you want. I wouldn't recommend. She doesn't want anything to do with him. He needs to, he needs to just try and move on. They both need to move on. They're very toxic. I wouldn't recommend venturing into the swamp. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fucked up his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there and retrieve <sighs> Anna. <laughs> Anyways, this way Gwen's. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. Oh, flashback. Here we go. Yeah, long game, Jack. Right in front of us. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. Ah, oh, that's right. Survive. <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we were. Ooh! She's been, uh, fat bombs. This bold cuts is fucking standing there. Bold cuts out of there. Interesting. It's a basculus, but it's like a bird type. I mean, I suppose these creatures look different in different uh, folklore. Is it like when you look at, and if you look it in the eyes, you die? It looks like Jurassic. Bring it out, 
some reason versus everything else. Seems like it's singing along. <laughs> what a baddie! So, okay, he's awful, but like the way he talks is so funny. His insults. It's not a redeeming feature, but like it is funny. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well, when your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you. I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. Great quest. Assuming it's over. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Gonna go to Novigrad. Yeah, he likes his vodka. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you, which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you, but go with me and I'll be generous with what I do oh, have. Well. Very generous. Oh. I mean, the fact that she made a bargain with the crones is such a testament of how miserable and desperate she was to not even have his baby, let alone like be with him is such a huge testament also probably really fucking desperate i would rather like personally help her than get the bloody baron to help her because she doesn't want to be back here she literally tried to kill herself multiple times because she was so miserable being here You convince me? I'll go. Sorry, don't have the time. Okay, so there's like a weird answer. Don't have the time is like, that's the end. We've got to, we've got to see this through. You convince me? I'll go. But like, I don't agree with this. <laughs> I don't agree with this. Mm, extra coin never This is terrible. <laughs> True indeed. Don't judge me. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. Oh, you fuck. Join us there. Fine. <laughs> this Sounds is terrible. <gasps> dead, 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 dead. Is that a little G? Oh, it's a hemorrhoid. That's a hemorrhoid. What's that? <laughs> what the fuck? What if you fucking spawns into here? What the fuck is this? <laughs> oh my god, is this another one of these weird babies? What was that? What the fuck was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a <laughs> oh, shit. Me. Just hideous as idle shit. Weird looking, hemorrhoid looking man. Hmm. I thought it was one 
through these weird babies. But my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where do you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of What? Cards. I thought he was a person. The fuck? Funny story. How so? So it's funny. Once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. <laughs> he loves that word. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. I'm assuming this is sarcasm. Hilarious. Real science <laughs> yeah. glitter. Oh, you wouldn't know a good tale from a runny farm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh, stop. A runny fart. Now, oh, he's funny. I hate him, I, but he's funny. Now I feel something's not right with him. How Do you so? reckon? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like it. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. <laughs> Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. Hmm. Level eight. Visit Truss in her house. Oh. I'm just gonna look at the quests before I, because it says recommended ten. I'm level eight. I'm constantly underleveled. I know a lot of you probably love Truss, but for the sake of my YouTube uploads and keeping them linear where they're not jumped all over the place i'm gonna carry on with the baron quest because uh it makes sense to but i am looking forward to meeting tress sounds like she's angry at him though i like i don't want to know i don't want to know but it does sound like it's not going to be a great meeting <laughs> Why the devil are there witch hunters here to start with? What the fuck? They didn't ride from Novigrad to hang two blobtits, did they? I, I don't know, my lord. Oh, big stretch. They say where they were headed. Geralt, good, you've arrived. Can't draw any meaning from this rabble's bawling. Perhaps they talk some sense after a few lashes. Well, spit it out. Where'd they go? T to the village in the swamp, my lord. Lass rode with him, asking after her mother, Constant. Lass, we must go there at once, Geralt. You're right. Agreed. I'll gather my men. With the swamp to cross and those cursed crowns to hunt down. Go with the Baron. Plowing swamp. It's gonna go terribly. He's obviously strong and chops like a motherfucker. The crones exist. I want to see him fight. <laughs> you serious? What a fucking letdown! He got one and done. I 
Okay. Oh, I'm worried for Johnny. I hope they don't come across Johnny, the little, the godling. Mmm, what's more boring? So this is the daughter, yeah. Do you have anything to fear? Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me oh, this no. advice. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father, I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt! Mm, people don't down. fundamentally change. And that's some pretty fucked up things he did. Baron wants to find his wife. Your business, I won't meddle. We'd better find Anna. Yes, yeah, so I'm just avoiding the question like a politician. Stop arguing. It's stupid. We need to find Anna. Verily I say unto you that Aya and Vehemence... This guy, he seems like he's using him. I don't trust him. And who are you to ask he's a so ugly looking Gascon. This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow. Oh, maybe he's okay. I don't know. You stand with their kind. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village. Mm. Look at his outfit. I do love the the costumes. Sorry, outfits or costumes. Uh, uh. Empty. I mean, we tried to find her too. Don't. Over here. Sad music. Loaf, freshly baked and hot. Mother. Clay is a whistle. Oh, she's fucked. She's gone loop. Oh, she's crazier than a clown's cock, guys. Thank pity. Oh, no. I was looking for her. I oh, begged. Mother, it's me. Do you recognize me? Fuck, what do you what, do? What's happened to her? Yeah, she's fucked. I said I'd do it all. Give it here. I'll scrub it again. Scrub it clean. Mother! Something's coming. Get ready. Oh my gosh. What was that? Silver. Is it silver? Yes. Okay, so it's 100%. So it's like a substitute, like I'm a 100% shield, and then they got to hit through it. That seems pretty good. Oh, the frozen thing worked. <laughs> okay, so it's all oh, right. Now it's about to run out. So now I've got to use it again. Oh fuck, that was cheap as shit. Oh. What's that? 
Man, that's fucked. This is so janky. with the shield <laughs> oh he's alive what was that looked a fiend to me a fiend the sensed us they know we're close sent the beast for anna those damned witches when will it end look what they've done to her are they not satisfied enough i'm taking her away she's my wife she'll return home with me no You're welcome to come with us if you wish don't touch her. We leave this cursed place now. She's sick, weakened. Where would you take her in this state, Oxenfurt? It would mean her death. I know how to care for my mother. She's not a rag doll to be ripped from hand to hand. Let her decide. Bye. Bye for dinner. I don't think she Goodbye. can. She's incapable of yeah. deciding anything just now. A dark spell. It must be. Help her, Witcher. I beg you. This is no dark spell, I'm afraid. Well, what is it then? She's been through a lot. Lost a child, was carried off by a fiend, lived in the Crone's village taking care of children who are now gone. It's left its mark, as it would on anyone. So it's hopeless. You can't help her. She's to be like this. I'm sorry. I'm now a hermit. A very wise man with a gift for healing. Met him some time past. Lives in the Blue Mountains. I shall take her there. What's the alternative though? I don't really want her to go with him. I think she should be with her daughter. I want to see what the daughter has to say. Makes no sense. With a try, mm, makes no sense. But I, I'm scared no about the use. alternative. Doubt a healer can do anything for her now. Doubt anyone can. I must do something. I shall go with you. That's impossible, sadly. Why? You have duties. Duties deriving from your commitment to the Church of the Eternal Fire. Once we finish our work in Velen, I still feel like that's a cold. Return to Oxenfurt. You said you'd save my mother. And I kept my word. Your father can care for her now. He care? You know him. You know what he did to her. He swears to be a changed man. And in his eyes, I see true sorrow, remorse for his sins. People don't fundamentally we'll change. Care for her, and you've a new life and new duties to the eternal fire. Fear not. All will be well. He'll get sad over how she feel, how she is, and then he's gonna drink, and then he's gonna do something terrible. Touch drink. No, you will. will. Find the hermit, and once she is herself again, we will find you. I don't know. Oh, I. You I'm... have my word, child. I want to believe him. Plays no part 
They just get on with it, then pick up the coin pouch tossed at their feet and set off on their way. Folk don't expect witchers to save them from themselves. Thank you, Witcher. Despite all. May the eternal fire guide and protect you. Farewell. <sighs> you were right to let your father take We did it! Do nothing more. Which is interesting. I'd imagine watching other people play this because there are so many dif difficult decisions to make and different outcomes. It must be quite if you've played this and beaten it, it must be interesting to watch someone else go through those tough choices. Yeah, there's a lot of thought and care put into this game. So what are we up to? I believe we're done with that time, oh not timeline, but that quest. I think, sadly, I'm gonna call it there. Bit of a short stream, but I, I've got a lot of editing to do. <laughs> editing wise, that'll be a really good place to, to cut it up. I think next episode we're gonna be introduced to Triss. I saw her in one of the cinematic trailers where she was like making out with Geralt, so I'm excited for that. Thank you everyone for hanging out.